My name is Frank Draper. I am a science teacher at Catalina Foothills High School. I teach the field courses from geology, physics, meteorology, ecology. In our district, we, we have identified 12 21st century skills we want teachers to put into their classrooms. My students are always working collaboratively. I always try to bring the content from an immediate, concrete, personal experience to a global awareness. I have them constantly collect data, analyze data, do some scientific inquiry. I have their names on a list, and I'm checking off when I see that they're utilizing that 21st century skill. So I say, yep, the data analysis piece was there, and I check it right up. Yep, I got the data collection piece. I've got the hypothesis piece. We're lucky enough on campus, this is why I chose hydrology, is the context for these skills, to have an um, active wash on campus. That's a dry river that flows anytime we get a, a significant amount of rain. And so just about all the hydrologic structures that I think are important for students to learn, we can see right outside my door. We spent the first three days outside going up and down the wash, taking a look at different hydrologic structures. I have had past classes work with civil engineers and we have built some structures out in the wash to mitigate the erosion taking place. So they've got some field experience outside looking at what this looks like in a real sense and learning some basic content. We then come in and through a computer simulation, looking at conflicts with using water in a social context um, in the Grand Canyon, as well as a stream table where they get to experiment with streams in a way that they couldn't do out in a real river. It's just too big and you really couldn't experiment the way that I have them do in here. As well as another thing with Google Earth, taking a look at examples in Tucson of places where people maybe have not, not been so mindful of hydrologic processes over time. And so I'm using hydrology for many purposes to um, some of the geology content I have to teach that the state requires, as well as ways for kids to think about systems thinking, working in collaborative groups, and to take a look at natural processes. And these are different things that we've been working on. We do a lot of group work in here, and it sort of builds just like trusting, like bond with your classmates that you don't usually get, say, in like a math class or something like that. We get to like approach it how, how we want to. He gives us basic guidelines, but then it's like we're kind of on our own, and we get to like do our learning how we feel like we'll do it best. I think it's really interesting that like right outside, it was like eroding right after the wash, and how what the school did affected the wash, and what the wash does naturally affects the school, and like how they work together is is like interesting and when you're learning just to learn like the like lecture style and taking notes and stuff and it's like most people aren't exactly that interested especially in high school and they're just doing it to pass the next test and stuff and like if people are actually getting involved you know they're really listening they're really paying attention they're really getting something out of it and we're actually able to remember these things and apply them in different areas because we're really remembering them and like able to you know make connections when my students do real work authentic kinds of tasks where they're doing something that's real for um, the school or for the community, they now understand why this is important to learn this stuff, how valuable it is to their own life, to the broader community. The same activity where my students repair the dams, they learn how to repair trails. We then go repair trails for the National Forest Service because they now have an expertise, which they have now, I feel, an obligation to the community to share that expertise. And so the content just becomes naturally part of doing authentic kinds of work. One of the things I really feel is that when you have students do meaningless work, you're pretty much saying they're not real important. But if I give you something really meaningful to do, you're an important member of the community and I value what you do. It's a different mindset about what schoolwork is about.